everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian. Thanks for tuning in for a new video. Um, today I am going to do a ring pour. I'm just using some really cool colors. I think they're going to be nice and vibrant and bright. I'll get you down the canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size. We'll talk about the colors. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, what we got is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas taped and push pinned on the back. My colors I'm using are um, Creative Inspirations in the uh, Payne's Gray, which I love to death. Just this beautiful blue color. I'm using Amsterdam's Pearl Red. Windsor & Newton Permanent Magenta. I have been on a magenta kick here lately. I just love the color and what it does in a painting with, with uh, blue colors, just beautiful. Of course, 24 karat gold. And then I have a custom color that I mixed up, which I'm using Artisloft Turquoise mixed with some cobalt blue from Artisloft as well. Metallic cobalt blue. So this is gonna have a little bit of a shimmer to it. Um, the paints are very thick. They're making a mound on top of a mound. I'm using, again, the Daler and Rowney Gloss Medium. It's very, very thick, gelatinous. Um, so what I did with the uh, Gloss Medium is I put in two ounces of the Gloss Medium to one and a half ounces of paint. Then I filled up the cup with the rest of the way with Floetrol and water. It is making, like I said, a mound on top of a mound. It's very, very thick. I'm doing a ring pour, so I want my lines to hold. The reason why I'm not using mix is because I don't have enough mix left. So I just ordered some from Krista Rasmussen. If you wanna get mix, you can order from Krista at Krista8974 at gmail.com. All right, guys, so let's get started here. So we were talking in one of the premieres about doing ring pours and uh, Mina said and Nate said how they really like seeing ring pours that aren't being wrecked. So that's why today we're not gonna wreck. Um, I do want my magenta to really be a predominant color in this. So I'm gonna use a lot more magenta, I think, as well as the paint's gray and a little less of the turquoise. Uh, what I want to do is I want to use the Payne's Gray. We got my gloves. It's been very warm here in New Hampshire. Some black here, or excuse me, the Payne's Gray. And uh, the snow has been melting, which has been fantastic. We're going to need 17 ounces of paint for this as well, um, for this canvas. So I've got a 16 ounce beaker cup, but if I fill it all the way up close to the top, that's gonna to give me my 17 ounces that we need for this. Like I said, we are gonna get a snowstorm, which it's been so warm, the snow has been melting, which I'm loving it. I'm ready for spring. But now we're gonna get a snowstorm on Friday and I have to go to work on Thursday because of the snow. I wanna to get to Boston in time so I don't get caught in all the weather. Thank you. 
All right, now as you can see, I also painted my sides. Um, like I said in one of my other videos, I have got a lot of leftover paints, so I'm using those leftover paints as my flow extender. So this is a nice little bluish color, kind of plays off of that paint's gray. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is pour a little puddle of gold right here in the center. We're gonna ring pour right in the center. Okay, so let's put some flow extender around this. Lots and lots of air bubbles in this still, so let's torch this again. Okay, let's start tilting. I've been losing sleep, what to do? Could somebody come and take me away? I've been in the tea without you. And I got it in my head night and day. But we are one step. Take me from this tree I've been in. I 
I need to get in closer to you. I swear you might not see. Oh, baby, I've been waiting for you. Now we are one step closer. We're all in this together. Put your hand in mine. Yeah, we are one step closer. Can you feel it, baby? It's the end of the line. It looks like we made it. Let's get it on. We got it going. Moving on the world. It looks like we made it. Let's get it on. I don't know about you guys, but when it comes down to getting the last corner, I'm always sweating. I'm like, go, please, run, get there. So I got some really deep lines. Everything opened up well. There's cells coming up. You can see the gold cells that are popping through. Not a lot of cells, which is fine. Uh, it maintained the, uh, the main composition. It's got the panes gray. You've got the lighter blue, which is the turquoise. I'm really, really happy with this. All right, I'm going to touch up the edges, make sure all the corners are done. Torch, and then I'll bring you guys in. Let me bring you in here. I'll start up here in the top right hand side. All right, I'll let you see this dry. I'll be right back. Here's the dried result. I'm loving this colors. It is freezing out here today. It's like 10 degrees, so can't stay out here very long. So I'll shoot you up here and let you see it from the top. really came out pretty i love this color combination all right everyone that's going to do it for this video thank you for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell that'll let you know when i do post new video content 
Also, if you can share my post to social media, that'll help get me out there in the world so people see my art. I would really appreciate that. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day now. Bye-bye.